Hi, welcome to online digital marketing training. In this video, I'm explaining about how to create Facebook custom tabs. If you see your Starbucks, uh, these are the options available left hand side, the shop button, Pinterest button. Generally, these options will not be available in any common page. You see uh, a sample page, just now a sample are created. You have sections like home about reviews, post, but there is no Pinterest option in here. But you can add custom tabs or else if you want these videos to be on top, you can do it. There is an option called custom tabs. How to do it, I'm going to explain in this video. Before that, if you want to access all my videos, come back to YouTube, type ODMT. This is my channel. Click on that. So that I've arranged my videos in such a way that all uh, SEO videos, Google ads, website designing, complete digital marketing and social media videos available. So you can come back and you can watch any time. Or else you can, there is option here. Uh, see how you're looking for a chatbot video, search here. So you'll be getting the particular video, right? And if you want to take our training, come back to odmt.in, whether it's a classroom training or online training, you can enroll here. So that will get back to you. That's it. Okay. Now Starbucks have option of Pinterest. If I click on this, there is a possibility here only the complete Pinterest pins will be loaded over here. Now you want to do this for your page also. How to do this? Okay. So if you want to do this, come to your page and there is an option called settings. Click on the settings. Then left hand side, you will be having option called uh, templates and tabs. So by default, uh, uh, Facebook have uh, applied one uh, template. If you want, you can change the template. At the same time, you can rearrange the options which they give. You can see here, there is an option called templates and tabs. Click on this. And if you want, you can change the template, but I recommend you to go for the by default template, which is fine. But still, if you want to change it anytime, you can change the template as well. You can see the current template is standard. If you want, you can edit it. They will be giving uh, different options like business, venues, nonprofit, based on category, you can select it. Now, what are the tabs they gave? These are the tabs. Now you want your video sections to be on top. You can move it on the top. Now, if you don't want the photo section, there are some by default options are there which you can't change anyway. But some options, if you don't want, you can just offer it and save. Then it will be available. And uh, what do you want? You can drag and drop. But you want to add the custom tabs. Earlier, two to three years back, you have to go to developers.facebook.com or else some applications like Foobox are there, which was technically is not easy anyway. But now Facebook made it very easy. I just that you want to showcase your YouTube videos over here. Then what you have to do is come back here, type YouTube tab. It's, it's a custom tab. Enter. Now you'll be getting option like YouTube tab. Just click on that. Yes. So YouTube tab. This is the YouTube, uh, their official page. Don't go for that. Go for the YouTube tab page. Click on this. Click on that and uh, there is a call to action button called use app. Click on this. That's it. Small settings are there. Now they're asking uh, YouTube tab where you'd like to use it on which page I have multiple pages, not multiple most uh, more than 50 pages I have. Now just now created ODMT codes. So I want to apply for that. Yeah, in this page, I want to add it. Selected, add page tab. Now what are the tab by default Facebook have given? This tab will come, but I have to give my YouTube uh, link also. So in the next step, it will be asking you. Okay. 
it's redirecting yeah so they're asking something they're asking you your channel id by default the official facebook id is there you have to add yours so you by default facebook id is there their videos it is showing instead of that come back to my page i'm giving my page id okay this is not mine let me click again yes copy this i am placing it here one second okay i've added and a few more options it's asking header image file if you want you can do it uh, otherwise just leave it and i'm um, just save the settings that's it guys now all your youtube videos will be available on your facebook page you don't have to upload manually now people can see from here the ceo story this is the latest uh, video i created on youtube it came at the same time all my videos came here from facebook only they can watch my videos still your youtube video views will count now if you see here left hand side in the tab youtube option is there now if you want this to be on top now again go to settings and drag to the top position so that always people will find that that i have already explained how to do that yes go to templates and tabs and just drag to the top position yes youtube option is here i'm just drag and drop here i want it to be on top and a good section next that's it saved so this is how you can add a custom tab i just now added uh, youtube apart from that you can add instagram twitter pinterest also you can add just now what i did come back here type youtube tab right in the same way you can type uh, see the youtube option is there you can type instagram tab pinterest tab so easily you can add just now i'm going to show instagram again instagram tab So this is Instagram page. Don't go for that. Go for this Instagram tab, and again click on the call to action button like use app. Same like YouTube, it will be asking some options. It will be asking your handle. Give the handle so that all your Instagram posts will be available here too. So I click on use app. again they're asking on which page you want to access this you should always select your page as i have many pages so i'm selecting the particular page where i want it. i want it on odmt course yeah uh, add page tab so once you click on that it came it gave some options anyway here you give your instagram username hashtag or whatever the handle is mention this and these options check it it's not mandatory and come back click on save settings then all your instagram images whatever you uploaded will be coming over here again which you can change it over here that's it guys <clears throat> okay so these are the custom tabs anyway it depends on the business different different tabs you might be requiring uh if you have any questions put it in the comments so that uh, i'll be reply back in the next video i'm explaining about the business manager and uh, 17 more videos related to pixels even tracking conversion tracking retargeting i'm going to apply okay thank you very much